Hi, in this video we will discover how to upgrade your Zoom video quality from looking like this to all the way looking like this. Hi, I am Altaf and this is your Tech Takeaway. Well, most of the times when we start a Zoom call, we all use the inbuilt camera of our computers. But these inbuilt cameras have very limited quality as they are housed in a very slim design computer screen. For example, let's take a look at this MacBook inbuilt camera quality on a Zoom call. As I am sitting against the light, the camera is doing a good job of making me look clear. Indeed, you have options in Zoom as well to adjust the video quality with reference to light a bit, but no other adjustments really beyond than that. This is where our first setup comes in, an external webcam. I'm going to use a mid-range full HD webcam called Logitech C615. Any webcam will have a functionality to make it sit right on your screen and get auto-detected once plugged in in USB. Ensure you have HD enabled in your Zoom settings for a better quality of output. Similar, software-driven adjustments in Zoom itself for low lighting can also be applied over here. One major advantage with a USB webcam is the fact that it comes with camera setting softwares. In this camera setting software, you will be able to adjust a few things for better looking composition. For example, brightness and light adjustments. You can play around with contrast levels, readjust your white balance, as well as focus on the subject manually. You can also adjust color intensity of the entire scene. Don't you agree? This is already looking so much better from where we started. A C615 camera can cost you anywhere between 3000 to 4000 rupees but will provide a great value and a very portable solution. Links to the camera will be in the description. One step ahead from there will be to use a DSLR and attach it to your computer and bring the camera feed into the Zoom call. For this, you will require a capture card. I will put the link of the capture card which I am using in the description as well. But technically, any full HD capture card would work. Along with the capture card, you will require an HDMI connecting cable to your DSLR. Before you buy that, be sure to check which type of HDMI output is available on your DSLR. It could be a mini HDMI or a micro HDMI. Combination of a decent capture card and the HDMI cable should not cost you actually more than 1500 rupees, less than the cost of an entire webcam. First, we need to attach this cable to the HDMI out port and then plug the other end of it into the capture card. That capture card's USB input needs to be plugged in into your laptop or computer. I'm attaching it to the USB hub, cause no USB ports on MacBook Air. Thanks Apple. Once plugged in, switch on your camera regularly and you will be able to see a USB camera option featuring in your zoom camera selector. Select that as your camera and you will be able to broadcast what your camera is seeing into your zoom call. As I am using a 50mm lens on this camera, you can see I am taking advantage of the blur effect of the lens and a superb sensor quality of this video capture. All the other features in Zoom are still accessible to me, as well as the autofocus mode of the camera and any other setting for exposure, lighting, lens etc. can all be changed in real time on DSLR itself and it will reflect into your Zoom call. Ain't that just simply great? Now I am personally aware that having a light source close to the subject will always make your person look better. I am going to control the lighting of this room by closing the drapes and bringing the light source closer to me. You can do the same with a lamp or any diffused light source as well. And as you can see, it already looks so much better from where we started. As this is a DSLR, you can swap lenses or use zoom lenses and manually adjust the setting on the camera. You can also adjust shutter speed and ISO live during the call itself. And as DSLRs have larger sensor, there is literally no noise in this output at all. One of the best uses in Zoom for using a combination of these camera inputs together is using the feature of bringing a feed from your secondary camera. Click on share and then using this particular option, you will be able to bring in your secondary camera feed into your Zoom call. So in this way, your webcam can focus on a person speaking while your DSLR input can be on something like a product or a whiteboard or a design or whatever you're trying to explain to a group of people online. There is also a very inexpensive way of using your Canon cameras as a webcam, which is using the Canon webcam utility software. 
All you need for that is just a USB cable to attach it to your computer. No capture card needed. You will be able to find the link of that particular video over here. But mind you, that utility currently doesn't work with the Apple M1 chip computers. So if you want to work around that and still want to use this particular feature with your M1 MacBooks, then subscribe to the channel for a video on that in very short future. Do check out the other videos from the channel, which I am sure you will find equally informative. I will see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.